What's poppin'? It's your boy Moses, aka Nomo, chillin' right here in the Lit Olive Podcast with my very special co-host, Mr. Def Jeff, aka Steezy McBreezy. That's right. Yes, sir. Uh, we're gonna actually. This is our second podcast this week. This is the first time we do two in a week. We had the uh, the chance. Yeah, we had we, the chance to do it, so we said, "Fuck it." Yeah, our schedules actually lined up and shit, so we're bringing you guys more content. A little bonus um, ep. If you guys like getting multiple episodes a week. What we need y'all to do right now is go to our fucking YouTube page and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And if you are subscribed, send it to somebody else, create a bunch of fake Gmail accounts, and subscribe some more. Because once we get to a thousand subscribers, that's when we can actually start making money off YouTube. And we could bring you fucking, we got so many ideas. We Obviously the podcast, uh, we want to do some daily vlogs, you know, follow Jeff around because he's a movie star. Uh, also could do some like vo- food vlogs, uh, show you what we like to eat and drink and shit like that. So we definitely want to bring you guys around. Get us to a thousand subs. We're almost there. We need like what, 170? Or 100? Yeah, close, yeah. That's a 200 for sure. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're fucking up. getting up there. Yeah. So fucking make one for your fucking child. Make one for your niece, your mom. Tell her to fucking break into her shit and then buy some fucking anal plugs on Amazon and fucking subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right. Now, one thing that we uh, recently got, which is our first um, sponsor, is one of the big reasons why we're, con- we're going to be able to continue to do this until we get there. So shout out to Mariscos Campioni Mas. The best seafood restaurant in the world located right here in Southgate, California on Firestone. So get on your Google, search for Mariscos, which means seafood, Campeon, which means champion, y mas, which means y more. They got some bomb ass turf and surf burritos. They got agua chiles. They got ceviche. They got tacos. They got all that good shit. Plus the horchata and all the other waters they have. Aguas are really bomb. So shout out to Mariscos, Campeon, y mas for sponsoring the pod. Yeah. Damn, this is like a lot of pressure for us to like do another yeah. episode. <laughs> we're, just, we're used to doing like this weekly fucking like spill of our having fucking, a build up to it. Yeah, and yeah. now it's just like, like let's just, see what happens. Yeah, I just saw you like two days ago, and I and I were back. This here. This one might go off the rails, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> because you see it here. I missed the Four Locos episode with Mondo. So yeah, yeah. we're out here again. Shout out Four Locos, Four of those drinking Four Locos. <laughs> Yeah, shout out to Four Local. Uh, we you know they're they're in the DMs, they're in the comments. Thanks to you guys for tagging them in that one that one uh, post. Uh, but they are definitely interested, and yeah, we're yeah. we're in the we're in the works. Hopefully by this time this episode drops, maybe we'll be sponsored by Four Local too. Shout out Four Local. <sighs> Delicious. I don't remember last time I had a fucking Four Local. Yeah, because you don't remember what happened at your party. You just had one at your party. Did I? You had the same exact one at your party. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> When I walked, four local. <laughs> when I walked <laughs> well, last week when I walked into your party, you had the same. I had one in my hand. Yeah, that same one. I think Mondo probably brought it for me then. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he did. I'm pretty sure he did. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't remember that. Yeah. I also don't remember the party. <laughs> but so that wasn't me though. I don't remember the last time I had a four local. <laughs> that was that wasn't that was Miss Patricia. That was not me. That was I don't know who the hell that was. I always I always think about that too when I get super faded and like I do something dumb or like you know I will send somebody a dumbass message that I would never send them if I was sober, and they're all like, hey man, what happened? Like, hey bro, that wasn't me. I'm so first of all, I apologize for my friend. <laughs> like, I don't know who the hell you're talking about. Yeah, they say that alcohol per serving is only 0. .6 of an ounce. Come on, four loco. You know that's not true. <laughs> this is the whole serving. That's all it is. What do you mean? It is 16 ounces, whatever the fuck this is. But what does that mean? Alcohol per serving. Oh, because they're saying there's four, there's almost five servings per can. There's four and three, four servings. This is all one serving, you guys. <laughs> and we know it, and you know it, and it's all one serving, and it's the greatest serving. Yeah, because it's crazy because they have the big ass, like, 14% on top, which is like what they advertise, but in the back, they're like, oh, actually, it's only uh Yeah, actually, it's only a uh, per, I don't fucking know. I get drunk <laughs> and forget shit. Yeah, Four Locos get straight to the point, you know? After, after one of those, you should be good. Should be good. This is like the original, this is like the granddaddy of all seltzers. You know all those gay-ass seltzers they're, they're selling right now? White is this Claw. considered a seltzer? No, but this is where that derives from, I think so. Like, That's a know, very good point. Like, you know, like all tacos. What is this, like malt liquor? No. It's like a... That's what I'm saying. It's like a fucking seltzer, dude. Premium malt beverage with artificial flavor and certified color. Certified color. Oh, I think it is there. I guess it is malt. Yeah. But you know how like all... All tacos come from a carne salad taco. Or like all all tacos come... Like, you know. Anyways. And all lives matter. And all lives matter. God damn it. You know what I mean? I'm uh, drinking a four logo. You've only, been, you've only been gone for two days. And I know... I've... You know, since we talk personally and shit. I know you already have some crazy stories that... Happens. So I know you can't say lots of things, but 
Uh, what have you done since the last time you were here? Went to the casino and actually played tables for the first time. What casino did you go to? Fucking the best, the best one there is, dude. Not oh. the fucking win, not the Luxor, not Caesar's Palace, like you fucking losers. It's <laughs> fucking Hawaiian <laughs> Gardens Casino Jeez. off the 605, dude. <laughs> right there, right off of Carson Street. You wanna go play with all the fucking Vietnamese and Filipinos? Yeah, that's all there was there. But I went to a couple of my boys, and I've never played. <clears throat> Anytime I went to like the casinos and shit, that shit's always intimidating. When you like go out there and you just see how fucking focused everyone is, and they're just like, tap, tap, next. They, I'm just like, fuck, I'm going to go play slots. So me and my boy get there. I didn't know there was no slots. We get there, and then we fucking go in, and our dumb asses, I mean, I didn't know, fucking walk to this left side. I guess right when you walk in, the left side is the high rollers, and they big dicked all of us. It was just like, we just had 100 bucks each, and we were just like, oh, hey, what is this table? They were like, oh, it's a fucking $400 buy-in. Excuse me? I was like, where is the the ten where is the ten dollar buy-ins? Where's the dollar buy-ins? I don't know. And they were just like, it's on the other side. Bitch. That attitude? Yeah, it's kinda like bitch, just cause oh, I'm a loser because I didn't know where the fuck to go when I walked into the casino. And you're here on a fucking Friday at four in the afternoon betting your mortgage, fucking loser. You're a loser. <laughs> no, I'm not a loser, you're a loser, fucking loser. So then I had to fucking take my loser ass over to the other side. With a fucking ten dollar buy, and I was like, "This is this is where I'm at. This is what it's supposed to be." You feel king of the hill right there. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> so fucking, it was cool. Like I never them fucking, and they changed. Like we we're at, I don't know how long we were there. That's the thing too about casinos, and I always forgot. Like they keep that bitch bright or whatever. Like it's daytime no matter what, just to keep you going. We walked outside, and I was like, "It is fucking." We got here, and it was like four in the afternoon. We left probably like around nine ish. We were there actually for a while. And then fucking, we were like, God damn, it's just fucking dark out here now. But Yeah, so like my local casino that I, that I, I like to go to is a Bicycle Casino off the 710, uh, I think that's Florence, then Bell Gardens. And uh, it's a newer casino compared to the ones that are around here. Like those ones, the ones you go to are, are kind of like just a little older. Yeah. They just ref, re, refurbished this one. So same thing, you walk in there, even the front like sliding doors are tinted. You walk in and there's no windows in that bitch. Yeah, none. No fucking windows. No windows. They do that shit on purpose. Yeah, and then it was a trip though, cause uh, we went. I went during the pandemic, and it was still <laughs> open, but they had all, they took all the tables from the inside and they put them outside. That's gay. So like in the valet section and like on the outskirts, and they put some canopies up, and you could gamble outside. I'm like, damn, this is some straight addiction gambling. Yeah, shit. this is like I'll risk my life for this fucking game right here. Fuck yeah. it. So it, was, it was, it was kind of dope because they had they still had the big TVs outside. You could watch Laker games and shit like that. We just went to go have some beers and shit. Luckily, it's crazy because like they kind of have like an addictive personality, I guess. And like it was fun, but I'm like, I don't care. Like as far as like gambling and shit, like shit like that, like that doesn't like get me fucking going. Where I'm like, oh, I gotta go back and do it again. And I was like, got a hundred, went with a hundred, made a hundred, so fucking walked out with my hundred plus another hundred. Think that's like two hundred. And I was like, all right, that's cool. And then my boy was up like 800 bucks. And then fucking just, we were like, let's go. What are you doing? He's like, ah, fucking send it. $300 on this one hand. I was like, what the fuck are you, what the hell? I was like, you're just playing with fucking house money now. And then fucking, he ended up walking away with like negative 100. Damn. Yeah, I was like, you idiot. What were you guys playing? Blackjack. Blackjack? Yeah. Blackjack, it's just because it's easy. Like, I can play poker. Like, I know it enough. But just to play with the homies, like, I'm not going to play at a casino. Yeah, I feel like the same way. Poker, I, when I play blackjack, I love playing blackjack. I, any, anytime I've won money, it was either on blackjack or roulette by just by luck, right? Roulette's just luck. But um, playing like Texas Hold'em um, at a table, what I what I, I know how to play because I used to fucking love watching World Series of Poker on ESPN. Yeah. But sometimes I forget like, all right, do I bet on the small blind, not on the small blind? Yeah. Just those two, like I could get to like the first three hand, the first three cards, Plus the next one, but then after that, I'm like, all right, do I bet? Do I not bet? Is it my turn? Like, that's when I get a little lost like, and I get intimidated. Yeah, it's like intimidating because, like, I don't even have blinds. I have curtains at my house. So it's like, do I bet on the small curtain? Do I, I have a shutter? It's like, it closes. <laughs> like, I don't fucking know. Oh, I, like, why the tech just hold them? We're in California. Should <laughs> who's be, holding me down? Who's holding me down? No California me. abortion. <laughs> fucking, they can't do the abortions in Texas, so you hold them down, okay? <laughs> you hold them in. <laughs> you hold them in. <laughs> Texas hold them in. God damn right. Damn, but dog. it was cool, and it's just like the way they just fucking count everything out and fucking blah, blah, blah. It's like, 
just the way they have to like show all the money to like the cameras and shit and it's just like it's a cool it's a wild place that's why i kind of like i don't know it was fun going to that casino because it wasn't like all crazy intimidating like vegas it was like real kind of it wasn't grungy it was nice it was nicer i guess but like it wasn't just so like holy fuck like this is vegas big baller shot collars and shit yeah when you're um I want to switch topics a little bit. When you're like, uh, when you're single and shit, you know, uh, and you're like, you know, dating and shit. Do you ever, you ever fuck with the dating apps? I did, and then I didn't like it because it's just like, fucking. What are we talking about? Like, you look hot. Swipe right. Do you want to suck my dick? Because I want to eat your clit. <laughs> it's like, why are we fucking? If you were a fucking animal, which one would you be? Like, <laughs> bitch. Why are we talking about this dumbass small talk? Like, I literally saw your face. You're hot. Went through your pictures. You're hot. Let's fuck. And that's it. And it's just like, and it never worked. I was like, I don't want to, I'm not big on the small talk shit. Yeah, I think, I think, I don't know. I think girls and guys have the whole thing backwards. That's why it probably doesn't work. Girls go on there looking for love and shit. Like, oh, this guy's going to take wine me and dine me. One of these guys going to wine me and dine me, take me out. And guys, the only purpose we actually waste our time uploading a picture and a profile it's because we're just trying to find some bitches to smash, you know? Yeah. And then they don't get it. Like, bitch, I'm just here to smash. Like, and I, I hate that shit when I had it. Because I don't, I don't use that shit anymore. I just rather meet people in real life. But it's like, when I had it, and like, my homegirls would just be like, let me see your profile. It's just one picture. Like, barely any, like, questions asked or something like that. She's like, your profile. So I'm like, I don't want I don't care. And she was like, that's why you're not getting, like, a lot of hits. And I'll get some here and there. And then it always talked about, like, you have a conversation, and then it dies out, like, I only met up with a girl once on anything, and I was, like, off Bumble. And then we fucking hung out one time, and then that was it. And I was like, that was cool. Didn't even get the fuck. Yeah. And then, But I was just like, it's just weird to me. I don't know. It's cool. I'm sure it's out there. Like, I'm sure, like, it works. Because I know people that are fucking, that, that, that's how they met their wife. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Fucking. I've heard war. stories. I've heard stories, but I never. I know a couple people that, I'm, like, I'm, and they're I'm, both yeah. fucking happy as shit and fucking have, they have kids and, like, good for you. Like, hell yeah, that's sick. If I've never had that. If you're ever like on, on any of those uh, dating sites or apps and uh, you see like your homie's lady or something like that, would you tell your homie? Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. That's how I got caught cheating one time. Yeah? Is I had a fucking thing, like an idiot. And then fucking, <laughs> we fucking went out one time with my ex and fucking, we pull up to Fridays and then she's like, we have to talk. I was like, God damn it. I was like, yeah, we do. And then I was thinking something completely different and then we get there and she goes, what is this? And I was like, Tinder profile. <laughs> She's like, why do you have it? I don't know. <laughs> I was like, God damn it. And like this little fucking proof right here in my face. I was like, so what are you going to do about it? And it fucking broke up with me. And I was like. On the spot? God damn it. Yeah. Damn. That shit hurt it. And you were in love with that? that oh, yeah. <laughs> fucked up. So why, why, was, why, why were we doing that? Because I was fucking 21 years old. And I was a little fucking piece of shit. And like. Cheating is annoying. Like, I'll just look back on all the times when I was just a piece of shit when I was younger and, like, my early 20s and stuff, and it's, it's just a fucking headache and a half to have to, like, change people's names and phones, and anytime phones go off, you're like, fucking, oh, like, don't <laughs> grab me that. You have to fucking chop her hand off if she even touches your phone. And I was just like, if I'm in a relationship now, I'm just like, yo, fucking give me my phone, please. Like, who is that? Like, who's calling me? Like, I don't... And you just have to live with that constant, constant fucking guilty conscience that just eats you up. And you're just like, fuck. And it's just fucking emotionally stressful and physically stressful when you get slapped over and over again. And it's just fucking annoying. And then fucking you get burnt and you fucking he's like, why do I have chlamydia? It's like, I don't know. Why do you? Fuck. Yeah, yeah who'd you fuck? <laughs> it's on you. It's on you, bitch. Would you bring this into my house? I feel like I've, I've you know, I was single for like three years till recently right and then i've gone through like as a single guy you know you have no other thing to do fuck again i was on all of them so sometimes i forget i'm like did i ever delete that profile like i'm sure there's like profiles out there of like but i think you can see if it's like active right now or not or like how active you are on it i hope i don't know i hope after like six months or a year that you don't use it, it just automatically just get rid of it yeah because yeah Cause bro, I'm, I've been on every fucking dude. I, I said I've I've been online dating since I was like 19, 20, dog. When when did you get on Grinder? Uh, I never got to. I didn't even find out to Grinder till I got like. Dude, every time I hear gay dudes talk about that, that shit sounds so fun. That's what <laughs> I want. Just without the gay sex. Like yeah. I want with the fucking straight sex. They're just like, 
oh, you're in town? Let's fucking go to the Macy's bathroom at the Cerritos Mall and fucking fuck. And you're like, that's so cool. Yeah. God, they figured it out. You guys figured it they out. They just kick it with their homies and fuck. You know, and that's it. They don't have to worry about fucking women asking you what kind of fucking animal you are and all this <laughs> dumb shit. They're just like, you want me to suck your cock or you want to suck my cock? Cool, let's go to Walgreens. And you're like, sick. Like, and that's it. And then you go about your day and it's like two o'clock on a Tuesday and you're like, that's so cool. That's fucking, they figured it out, you motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, or you daddy fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fucking gay guys definitely figure it out. And basically what it is, it just got rid of women. Yeah, like, that's like, all they needed like to do. Our downfall is that we only are attracted to women. <laughs> dude, imagine if we were gay. <laughs> but just imagine, dude, like we could just sit here and do the podcast and then just fuck afterwards and then just watch TV. Like, that'd be so cool. Pause, pause, pause. <laughs> there's a fucking, uh, there's a comedian, a bit that I saw, I think just yesterday, last night on TikTok. And he goes, he goes, yeah, uh, they just opened up this new bar. So me and my buddy went to go check it out. And it was called this and that. We went there and we're hanging out. And my buddy goes, hey, man, I think this is a gay bar. And he goes, oh, shit. Yeah, this is a gay bar. And then he goes, and we proceeded to have the greatest night of our fucking Bro, life. Oh, gay bars are shit. And they're all like, we just figured out that, like, damn, the, the reason why there's just we're having so much fun in this gay bar is because there's no women in here. <laughs> yeah. No one here trying to, like, you know. With dumb shit and starting dumb fights over nothing. I remember we went to a gay bar one time for my homie's birthday. And then, like, a bunch of us went. And then, uh. They had karaoke there. And I sang Frank Sinatra once. And I felt like the baddest bitch at a bar. Like, yeah. it's a regular <laughs> bar. And I was just like, no, want me to buy you a drink? No, thank you. It's okay. No, oh, my God. Okay, I guess I'll take this shot of tequila. I'm not going to fuck you, but thank you for the <laughs> shot, though. I appreciate it. Like, thank you. Oh, you're so nice. Like, oh, my God, you sing so well. And I was like, that was fantastic. And then, and then I don't know what happened. Then he went to a regular fucking karaoke bar and no one gave a fuck. No one gave a fuck about me. No. And you know, they also say, um, because there used to be a, a, a men's and a women's only gym right here down the street on Firestone. The fuck? And they existed. They were just across the street from each other. They were oh. like mirror gyms and only women can uh, go to women and only men can go to men. Right? And they were. Yes, that's kind of not, that's not that bad of a They idea. were there for a while, right? But then they went out of business. And then there's, oh, there's also been other companies that have tried to do like a women only gym. Like but, curves and shit. Yeah, but it never, they never last. That's for fat bitches, though, I think. No, but like, there's, I'm, I'm, you're right. Curves is like Jay and Craig, right? For yeah, people I think it's like fat weight. bitches. But there's been gyms where like the whole business model was women only, right? And they never succeed. And I want you to guess why they never succeed. Why do women only gyms don't succeed? Because they don't pay their fucking bills? No, because they would rather pay extra <laughs> money, right? The gym is the only place to a girl. look at some cock. The, the gym is the only place a woman would pay. Money for outfits, a membership, so have guys like you know just ogle over them. Yeah, because at the bar, what they get in for free, they get free drinks from us and shit like that. But the gym is the only place where like they'll fucking and some, they show and they show up half naked with makeup on. Yeah, some girls, it's like, I mean, whatever, do your own, do your own thing. But like your fucking cooter lips are literally eating your spandex shorts, and it's like I'm a look. Yeah. Like I'm not gonna stare like a creep, but I'm gonna be like, hey, when I was young, when I was like 21, 22 at the gym and shit, I'm like, oh fuck, I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to be disrespectful. Now I'm like, now I'm older. I'm like, this bitch is doing it on purpose. The I'm gonna mirrors take, are your I'm friends. I'm gonna take my fucking look. <clears throat> All right, move on. You know, the I'm mirrors good. are your friends. Bro. <laughs> like you just gotta bounce it off this mirror and that mirror. But also, women be fucking pervs too, though. They be creeping too. They're just fucking way more low key with it than the guys are. Women be looking too. Women be shopping and women be looking. Yeah. You, you can see it. And it's like one of those, like, I mean, I contacted you like four times. Like, looking at me, too. I'm looking at you. Not going to talk to each other, probably. Because it's just <laughs> that gym approach is so weird. Like, it's just so awkward. Just walk up and say something to them. Like, if it works out to the point where you're, like, on a machine or something next to each other and be like, hey. Fucking, if she's like, oh, can you help me with this? You're like, ah, oh, my God. Yeah. I got a Shoot your shot, ladies. Because, guys, <laughs> we don't know what to do anymore around these times. These parts, it's just like, I just want to come tell you you're pretty. And now I get fucking me too. And it's like, we don't fucking know. So shoot your shots, too. Because it's very confusing. Don't know which one of you is a whore. And which one of you is a fucking undercover lesbian. <laughs> and drives a Subaru. And if I even say hi, you're like, yeah, he's mansplaining. We don't know. It's hard. It's hard to tell. I have a story that like when I was like when I was like 24, right? When I was like 25, I lost I had lost 100 pounds, right? So I was like this weight, and then I went down to like 220, 230. And I'll this went in my nose. (laughs) 
And so I had lost, I had just lost 100 pounds. I was at the gym, and I was going to the specific, I was going to the UFC gym. Are you okay, bro? I don't know. <laughs> I was checked drinking him. I went up my nose. How do you snort I don't, Four Loco? I don't know. You just, I guess you just, it's just you natural. Ma- you mainline Four Loco? It's just natural. <laughs> that shit fucking hurt it. I smell fruit punch. So anyway. real quick. All right. So look. So I had just lost my 100 pounds. And I have been going to the gym for this gym for two years. Straight. And then you gained it back? UFC. I, well, obviously I did. <laughs> so UFC, UFC gym in Torrance. I was going for two years. I lost 100 pounds. I was there six days a week, bro. And I was I had become a regular, right? So there's other regulars there. And then this, this one chick, dude, she was so hot, you know? And then uh. it was before I had... I was skinny, but I didn't have, I didn't have gained that skinny confidence yet, right? Yeah. I was still had that fat boy, you know? Shell and shit. But now you're fat and confident. I know, it's weird, right? Yeah, it's weird. That's <laughs> fucking, that fucking shit changes. <laughs> it's over. crazy. <laughs> but I, feel, I feel better this way. I don't care. Um, anyways, so so she comes up to me and she goes, hey, can you help me out with something real quick? I'm all like, yeah, what's up? She goes, oh, come over here. Uh, can you teach me how to oh. use Can you teach me how to use this machine? <laughs> and then it was like basically like just- Hit thrusting a, machine? It was just a pull down machine, yeah. right? And then she goes, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't get what this means. And it just, that was the one that has like the extra five pounds you could take off or extra yeah. ten pounds you could put on. And then she's like, what does this mean? And she was just, now that I look back on it, she was just trying to she talk to She was shooting me. her shot. Yeah, right? Yeah. And I was like, well, um, this is what I said, like, bar for bar. I was like, well, some stupid people think that this means this, but it actually means this. But people are so dumb that they don't understand that it's actually like this. Oh, you're an idiot. And I was all like, I, I'm like, right. She goes, oh, thank you. And I walked away and I was all like, oh, my God. Right, right away. And she's sitting there like, <laughs> wow, he just called me stupid. <laughs> I shot my shot. Yeah. That's who you get, whoever you are. That's who you get. That's what happens with guys. You try to shoot your shot and you get called stupid. And then, but bro, she was like out of my league. Like she was fine. But at that, at that time, like I said, I just didn't have the con. I was still on the outer show feeling fat. But dude, I was like, damn, I totally fucked that up. And every time I would see her after that, I would try to say what's up to her. And she would just ignore me and shit. And I was like, damn. Because yeah, you called her stupid. Yeah, I totally <laughs> fucked that one up. And you're like, some dumbass bitches think it's like this when you do that. Yeah. And these other fucking retards think it's when you do that. So <laughs> I'm like, all right, have a nice day. And you see her next time. And you're like, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm Moses. <laughs> <laughs> I had totally fucked that one up, dog. Yeah, you did. Did we already talk about... Uh, cartoon, cartoon bitches, like which cartoon bitch would down to smash? Probably, we can do it again. Yeah, let's do it again. Just, I'm down. Just to get out of our system. I mean, the obvious is like Miss Incredible, Lois, Family Guy. I'm trying to think. I know, are you I'm, a Marge? I know I'm missing people. Are you a Marge girl? I fuck a Marge because I just feel like she's just so cooped up and like with fucking, with army that she probably just nasty. She, she probably fucked Ned. She got a good body. She probably fucked Ned. Yeah, she got a nice body. Now, I don't think Ned would. I think she would be down, but Ned wouldn't be down. It depends. Ned's There's that much. one episode where Ned flipped his shit <laughs> when he fucking uh, when they built his house all hella small after his house got knocked down or whatever. That's when he just fucking went off on everyone. Ned got it in him. Stupid yeah. sexy Flanders. Yeah, he's all he like, he's like he's wearing dirty. nothing at all. <laughs> nothing at all. And Ned's bodied the fuck up. Flanders is bodied up. That man, Jack Diesel. For real. Fuck. Lois, Miss Incredible, probably Marge. I know I'm forgetting some. Oh, my God. Who was I thinking about? Let's Google cartoon baddies. We should. I'm trying to Google some cartoon baddies and see what pops up. Let me see. What about you? Damn, you you, you hit it out. The hell down the coffin right there on that one. Let me see. Cartoon. Everyone, uh, comment down below which one you would smash. I'm just going to Google cartoon baddies. The internet knows. If it fucking loads. Oh, they got, Mulan? They got Mulan, but she's a little girl. Yeah, she ain't. Oh, me. okay. This is, also, Mulan's gay. Not <laughs> Mulan, but the guy in Mulan is gay. Because she was playing a man, and he was like, Fall in love with her. Something about this man. <laughs> I love to defeat my boner. And yeah, you're just I like, that about dude's that. gay as hell. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, she was playing a man, and he's like, huh, something about this feminine man. I want to fuck. And you're like, that, all right, so you're gay. You're gay. Fucking uh, shout out to Disney for fucking sneaking in gay people from in the 90s. Right from the jump. Ju- Ooh, wait, wait, fucking wait. Vanessa Doofenshmirtz or whatever. Who's that? From Phineas and Ferb. Mm. Dr. Doofenshmirtz's daughter. Mm. I don't know who that is. Damn it, I don't know. How, uh, they're all 18. They're cartoons. Fuck you. Now, that's the thing I want to talk about because... Uh, to me, the main one was when I saw the Goofy movie, I was like, what, 15, 16, right? Even younger. I was probably like 10 or 12 when that movie came out. So I was like super in love with uh, Max's girlfriend. Her, what's her name? Uh, I don't remember. Oh the one God. they went to go see Powerline with? Yeah. So I'm like, I don't yeah, remember that her bitch name. She's cute. She's hot. 
And then now I look back and I'm like, I still think she's cute and hot, but like, wait, I'm not. She's under. <laughs> she's like in high school with this fool. So I'm like, damn, I'm over here like, you know, am I a pedophile because I like a cartoon? I f I'm still in love with a, a person that didn't age with me. I also don't want to. I was going to keep Googling shit and all that. That's going to fuck my whole algorithm up. FBI is going to be knocking on my door any second now. I just put cartoon baddies. I did too, but I was also going to be like hot cartoon girls. You know, <laughs> you know, like, you know what? Let me not Google that. Damn, they got Kim Possible in a little tight dress. What the fuck? She be Kim Possible could get it. But yeah, no, nah, I always remember fucking Vanessa Doofenshmirtz. She was fire. I never seen that one. You ever watch Phineas and Ferb? Nah. nah that shit was dope. Uh, another one's going to be, uh, what's the Joker's girlfriend? Harley Quinn? Oh, yeah. that bitch is crazy. That's Amber Heard. They had her body like... That's Amber Heard. Wild. Have you ever watched that show? Which one? The Harley Quinn show? I think it's on HBO. Uh, no, no, no. The one with uh, the girl from... Uh... It's like a cartoon. Oh, no, no, no. That no. shit is hilarious. Fucking free plug. Watch that shit. The Harley Quinn show on HBO. Max. Fucking hilarious. Yeah, dude, but even like... That's uh, just funny as fuck. Jasmine from Aladdin. <laughs> oh, Jack. Bro, they used, to, they used to dress these fucking girls up in nothing. Like... Jasmine could. Yeah. Half naked and shit, like crazy. I'll show her a whole new world. <laughs> yes, I will. She might get disappointed, but it's still going to be a deep world. Yeah, it's a fucking, you know, it's a <laughs> fat planet. Not the biggest planet, but oh, it gets the job done. It, it has so, oxygen. I put cartoon baddies and it's just showing me a bunch of bad guys. <laughs> yeah, popping up villains. All right, cartoon bad guys, you would fuck. Let's go. Run it. Andrew Schultz, like, he's a fucking genius, but what, what, what I always notice about him is he's always... He's always telling people that when people like visit his show, like, hey, you don't need Netflix, put it on YouTube, this and that. So he's always telling people not to do Netflix. So for him to tell people, all those people not to do Netflix and then drop it on Netflix, I don't think he's that kind of guy. So well, I think, he already I, has a Netflix special yeah, in a way. Yeah, he has that thing he did during the pandemic. The Schultz saves but America. But I think, I think what he's going to do is um, he's going to, I think HBO, HBO, HBO has some money. HBO want, Max is the shit. They want to steal some some shit from Netflix and YouTube from comedians because there's a hell of a lot of money in comedy. So I think HBO Max is gonna super up. Well, HBO used to be the fucking go to for stand up. Exactly, they have a history in it. They have a history yeah, in it. like that was like the OG of like stand up specials, and like hearing like all these other people talk about like stand up specials and whatnot. Uh, how they like Bill Burr was probably like the first one on Netflix to like really pop off, and then Tom Segura too. But, like, they're, like, the first ones that are, like, yeah, we can do Netflix. We can do shit like that. And it's going to be, like, you know. But people are, like, fucking Netflix. What the fuck? Like, that DVD. When you, did you ever have Netflix when you had to, like, order the DVD and then yeah. send it back? Yeah. That shit's insane <laughs> to think that that's how it started. And then now it's just on your phone. But do you, you remember, can just watch it on your phone. But do you remember, like, back then? Because back then, Blockbuster was king. So Blockbuster like, was the shit. You though. used to go to Blockbuster, pay extra for the fucking popcorn and candy. Like on the, it was like a movie theater, but you take it home, right? And it was dope. That was it was a thing to do, right? And then then you're like, hey, you don't have to go to Blockbuster no more. You can just go on the internet, pl click on these things, and we'll send it to you. You just gotta like, wait. I'm like, damn, that was tight. And then they're like, you know what? You don't even gotta wait for it to come no more. Now we're gonna put this red box outside of 7-Elevens, and you go to Red Box. Hey, Red Box was the shit. Though. Yeah, I'm telling you, but it just kept getting better and better. Well, you could get games better. on Red Box too. Yes. I only did that a couple times, just because I was like, I want to play it for a little bit. But the game was stupid because you have to hold it, and you gotta pay more the longer you hold it. But like a movie for like a fucking two dollars or whatever, and it's like fucking three dollars, three fifty for like the uh, Blu-ray, and you're like, I don't give a fuck about a Blu-ray. I was like, just fucking give me a regular one. And it's like, yeah, just go home, watch the movie. Fucking go out with a chick and just get a little fucking red box. I'm like, you want to you want to watch these movies? And it's like, yeah. Next thing you know, you're fucking clapping cheeks to Mad Max in the back. And you're like, mm, what a glorious day. <laughs> and just over here smacking cheeks, very fucking specific time. But, like, it's cool. Like, that shit was sick. And then now it's just like, I mean, now it's just convenient as fuck. Yeah. Now, now you can, like, YouTube full movies. You have to, like, search for them, though. But, like, you just YouTube full fucking movies. I remember when like one two three movies was a thing. One two three movies was the shit. I got my own website that I don't like to share because I wanted to get burned out. But I just, I watch everything for free. The only thing is when I say it on camera. The only thing that I hate <laughs> is that like when a really good movie comes out, you gotta wait two weeks for the HD version to come out. Yeah. But if, if I really wanted to watch it, I would really just go to the movies and watch it. Speaking of movies, I just went the other day to go watch the Black Phone. Yeah. What is that about? With Ethan Hawke. That shit was wild. It was a very strange movie. It was a. Uh, like, Ethan Hawke plays this guy who they call, like, the grabber. Where he, like, kidnaps kids and shit. And then, like, 
puts him in like he kidnapped this one kid. It's in the preview. The spoilers if you want to go see it. I'm not trying to spoil it, but there might be spoilers. He like kidnaps his kid, fucking puts him in like the his little basement down below. There's like a black phone sitting in there, and then he's like has those weird ass masks and shit, just so you don't see his face, because he's like a magician, and he's like, uh, don't like like that phone doesn't work, that phone doesn't work, blah 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 blah, but he hears the phone ring, and then so like the other kids that he kidnapped and killed call that phone for the kid he has now in the basement, and they're like trying to tell him what to do and what's going on and everything like that, but there he's like. But just know, like, when you hear this phone ring, he can hear the phone ring, too. So, like, he fucking, anytime the phone rings, if he answers the phone, that's why he'll come down. Next thing you know, he'll turn around. And he's like, get off the fucking phone. And you're like, oh, shit. And it was like, it had a few, like, jump scares. But it was just more or less like one of those, like, what the fuck am I watching? Like, just the visually, you're like, what the fuck is going on? Solid 8 out of 10. I wasn't a big fan of the ending. But... Still, a, there's a good ending, but still a great movie. I gave it a solid 8 out of 10, and that's Jeff's movie reviews. <laughs> Send in more movies you want me to go see by myself like a loser, <laughs> and I'll fucking watch them for you, and I'll give you the movie reviews. Hey, we're supposed to have that fucking every year, every year fucking movie review. Remember 2000, 2001? Oh, yeah, we did. We still could do that. We could still do it today. And it also gives me a reason to watch movies, because I'd just be going through like HBO and Netflix and Hulu and like watching random movies and shit. But, yeah, it was a good movie. It was a solid movie. Yesterday I saw Transformers The Last Night for the first time. Which one was that? The last one? The one, yeah, 2017. Is that Mark Wahlberg? Yep. The I haven't seen that one. They're in the junkyard. Was it gay? It was actually pretty cool. I liked it. Uh, I only watched, like, the first two. I like it how, like, uh, the reason why I saw it is, like, I saw 2017. I'm like, oh, the graphics must be better. So I was, I was pretty happy with, like, 80% of the graphics. There's some some parts where like <laughs> Mark Wahlberg's like holding on to this fucking like drone, and then the background just looks so shitty, like the green screen fucked up. But it was a cool. That's story. Funny. It was a cool story though. I liked it. I liked it. And that's another thing too. Like what I liked about like the Black Phone was, I mean, it was a short story, and it says like based on the short story written by I I don't remember the guy's name, but it was just such an original idea. Like the story was so dope, and like the idea of it just compared now where everyone's just doing remakes. And a bunch of other dumb shit. Like, it was just such a dope, like, plot and original story that I was like, this is cool shit. And, like, that definitely, at least for me, like, made it a little better. Because I was like, it's just, like, it's so original. And you're like, that's cool. Yeah. Like, that's a fucking sick-ass story. No, for sure. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of movies, even, even like, uh, content in general, a lot of it's, like, regurgitated and, like, re... But no, you see old reused. weird shit, too. Like, you ever seen Clockwork Orange? I saw parts of it, but... That movie is... Stanley Kubrick would be fucking sentenced to death if he made that movie now. <laughs> it's such a wild-ass fucking movie. But it's just like, that... What the fuck? Like, back then. And then uh, another movie I watched recently was The Stanford Experiment. Something like that. I think it's called The Stanford Experiment. I forgot what the movie's called. You ever heard of that shit? Mm-mm. Where they, it's like... It's a real story. It's like happening in real life. Where it's like, these kids from Stanford... We're having like a social experiment where they like brought a bunch of people in and then they pretended like it was jail. So like half of the students were the prisoners and then half of the students were the guards. But at first it was like whatever. But then they started getting more serious and more serious and more serious and like all that shit just to kind of see like get into the mind of the prisons or whatever. And they were like, like the people who are running the experiment were like, be harder on the prisoners, like be harder on them. And then they started getting real. And once it started getting real, fucking Uno reverse card, they switch. Oh. So those motherfuckers who are the prisoners. That's a movie? Are now, it was a real life, it happened in real life. It was a real life thing, but it's also a movie. Oh, I want to so see those that. motherfuckers that were the prisoners that were wanting to beat the fuck, they're like, bro, it's not that serious. And then they started getting crazy. Those motherfuckers now become the guards. And the guards become the prisoners. And that shit is like... Holy, that's such a <clears throat> mind fuck. Because you're just sitting there as the guard. You're like, yeah, that's the whole experiment. And they start diving into it. They're like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Blah, blah, blah. Talking all crazy. And then, oh, you're a prisoner now. And that guy you're just telling shut the fuck up is now the guard. Yeah. And it's like, oh, shit. That <laughs> fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah, I think they got in trouble or something for that. I don't know. It's like some shit. You Google it. Like, I think they got in big trouble for that shit. That's how they cool. had to, like, cut it short or something like that. I want to watch that. Because it was, like, such a psychological, like, 
they started to believe they were really like in prison and like the guards started to believe they were really guards. And it's just like, you're watching it like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah, I can see how like college kids were really trying to get it was like, like a, in the 70s or an something. A or B in their class. Like they go, all, you know, they, they focus in and, yeah. and lock in. Plus it was just like way back when this were more shit like that could fly. In 10 seconds or less, build your perfect woman. Ass, mute, titties, pretty face, good credit. Ass. <laughs> two asses. Yeah, two asses. Four butt cheeks. Four titties. <laughs> <laughs> it's like having a threesome every time. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. What's up? And mute. Shut the fuck up. Don't talk to me. Oh, fuck. You can moan while you don't talk. You know what I hate? I hate when they do the fucking, all right, you have $10, build your perfect, $5 for this. Like, hey, don't fuck that. Just tell me exactly. That shit's funny, though, because they'd be like, $10, build your perfect woman, and it's like, Nine dollars is like fucking good sex and everything. And then it's like obviously. Uh huh. All right, ten seconds for you. Build your for woman. Go. I would say like petite, uh, nice ass, not big, nice tits, not big, cute face, and smart. You described me. <laughs> Your ass is big, but not that big. Mm, yeah, it's big, a, it's not big, big, not big. I'm like smart, but not that smart. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't say not that smart. I said smart. You gotta be smart. Nah, dude, everything is not that though. <laughs> that, that just means like I'm just like easy to please. I'm just like down the middle and everything. Dude, you're so shallow, dude. You just said petite. I just said I don't want the bitch to talk. Just it's because look, man. Four ass, two asses, and four titties, though. Like, I that's just crazy. You know, two two wrongs don't make a right. You feel me? Two fat people together, it just it's just not gonna work out. Bro. Sounds like a thousand people clapping when you guys are fucking <laughs> just begging. <laughs> it's like we have, we have a water bed, but not without the water bed. You know, like it's just not gonna work. Let's be honest here. Uh, big people know what I'm talking about out there. You know, you ever look at yourself in the mirror and be like, "People fuck me." <laughs> yes, I do it all the time. Yeah. I'll be like, "Ugh." And, or some people show me videos from like my party, and I'm like, "I got laid that night. That's crazy." <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck?" In my, like a hot ass mess. In my room right now, I have like these sliding doors, right? And they're my closet. They're just these giant 16 by 16 win- mirrors. So like, I'm sometimes I'm watching TV and I look to the side, look at myself, and just like, damn, someone really gets on top of this. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's gross. <laughs> like, uh, These bitches are disgusting. <laughs> uh, have some fucking pride, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Love yourself a little bit. Ew, what's wrong with you? But uh, come over here then. What's up? Yeah, what's up? Well, since you're gonna let me hit it. <laughs> and nah. then my homie was telling me at the party that his 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 girls, her homegirl or whatever, her friend was like, oh my god, like just fucking I don't wanna fuck him. And I was like, like and I saw videos of myself and I was like, ew, like what kind of bitch like <laughs> have some pride in yourself? Like, why I never met her, I didn't talk to her or nothing, but he just told me that that she said that. And then he also told me that she got blackout drunk and was throwing up outside her homegirl's car. And I was like, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, because I was out like, of her mind. no sober or like semi tipsy chick would see me that night and be like, he's so fucking high. And they'd be like, what the hell is wrong with this guy? So I, think, <laughs> I, think, I think girls suffer from like this one thing with that guy. Like, you know how guys, we can't, we see a girl with some nice tits, nice ass. It doesn't matter how ugly she is, we're still gonna smash. Girls kind of suffer from this like this this status thing where like if you're the guy at the party, if you're the guy at the show, if you're the uh, superstar rock star at the concert, like there's just something about that that get, turns them on, you know. So they have like their own like faults and shit like that. So uh, I, I I I feel like girls suffer from that like the same way we suffer from like when we cheat or when we fuck other bitches. It's not because we're in love with the bitch. We just most of the time when you cheat, it's off. down, which is crazy. And bitches say that, that shit, and I've that, always that, like been true. like, nah, fuck that. But it's very true because it's, it's true easy, because, and yeah, because we're just trying to get the nut. We're and not then trying you to like, like look move back on. on it, and then you get caught, and you like get everything's fucked up, and then you like look at it, and you're like, why? <laughs> yeah, why did I do that? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, then, my girl is way hotter than her. She's way cooler than her. Like, why did I do that? Just because she threw some pussy at me, and like, that's why I like being older now. But also, you live and you learn. Like, young ass Jeff. Just a fucking idiot. Just a fucking little horn dog. Yeah, but like, but you're still the same person. And what happens is, but now I can but be, you're, like, but you're, be like, I don't care. Like I'm we, good. But we were all slaves to like our hormones and and brain. Like we're not really. Con- Sometimes we're not really controlling the shit. It's our fucking balls and our hormones and our brain. Like jack off. Because now you, yeah, exactly. Now you can fucking rub one out and be like, what the fuck was I thinking? I'm. Any, why am I hitting this bitch up? Any young dude out there? Rub or it just out. Any dude out there? If you're ever thinking about cheating. Or doing anything crazy like that that you probably would regret, jack off. 
Because I promise you that post nut clarity yes. after you fucking nut, yes. it'll be like, I don't want her to come over. I don't want to drive there. Like, I don't care. Just jack off. Throw on a little P8, little Pornhub, and fucking <laughs> find whatever you want. And don't even worry about it. Maybe find a girl that looks like the girl that you were going to fuck. And that might be enough for you. And then jack off. And then once you nut, save your relationship, save you a headache. And you're just like, cool. And you won't feel- And you busted a nut. And you won't feel guilty. And you won't feel guilty. You don't have to tell her to leave. You're not going to feel like you're going to get caught. Just trust me on this. And then because some bitches, like, they know that you have something going on. So they'll start like and start blowing you up just to get you caught on purpose out of spite, you know? Like, yeah. oh, this guy thinks he's gonna use me to cheat on this girl. Hell yeah. no, fuck this shit. I'm gonna blow him up right now. Those bitches. And what would you rather do? Would you rather get caught cheating or jacking off? Jacking off. Easy question. I would rather. Because if I, I get caught jacking off, I'm like, yeah, I'm almost <laughs> done. Move, leave, bitch. Like, no. Are you sure you don't want me to suck? No, I don't. I'm in this video. She's fine. And it's like, yeah, I'd rather get caught jacking Like, were you jacking off yesterday? Yes, I was. And I'll jack off today and tomorrow <laughs> and the day after that. Facts, <laughs> like, facts. what the fuck? Uh, Jeff's 100% correct. It's not worth it. Rub it out. Oh, my God. That post-nut clarity. I was thinking about this, and then today I got a phone call by the homie Edward, and he confirmed it. He told me to do this. We need to come out with a merch specifically for you, and I, I, I want to off? brainstorm this idea with you. So we're going to come out with shirts called, and it's going to say, Beaner Schnitzels. Okay? Now... And the wiener's gonna be a dick. <laughs> There's no wiener. With a fucking swastika on it. Oh. It's a beaner schnitzel. Yeah, but it was like wiener or schnitzel. Or we could do like a bean and, and a hot dog. Beaner schnitzel. Anyways, but what I was thinking is beaner schnitzel, right? With a hyphen. And then the beaner, it just has like the Mexican ba- flag backdrop. And then the schnitzel has a Nazi flag on it. But I was like, oh, okay, maybe. Yeah, that's, uh, sure. That's funny for jokes, <laughs> but to actually put it on print and put it on a t shirt. I don't want to do that. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just put the German flag on yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> we can do the German flag, and then you can pick it up from there. You can pick up the joke, the innuendos, but I'm, yeah. No. It's fun to joke about the swastika, but I mean, for not for a certain group of people, but it's fun to joke about the swastika, but to actually fucking print it on a shirt, is that's too much. It's wrong that I'm laughing so hard, but like, I'm not laughing at the Nazi Jew thing. I'm just Maybe we can make one and put it up there. The out... <laughs> The outrage it would cause, like, you know. That's... Yeah, rightfully so. Dude. <laughs> that should not be on a shirt. Nah, but we'll, we'll do, like, uh, we'll do like the, the, the German, like, That's when black... it becomes real. It's when you, like, actually print it and pay money in real for life. it to be a physical thing. That's when you're like, okay, this is too far. This joke yeah. has gone too far. So, uh, look out for that. We're going to make a small run. Look out for the swastikas. <laughs> We're going to be... <laughs> make a small run, maybe 10, 15 shirts. Wiener schnitzels, anybody out there who's half Mexican, half German. We could have the wiener schnitzel guy, like that hot dog that always ran away from everyone. We could have him with the sombrero on, but he also has a swastika tatted on him. <laughs> and he's just like, hey. Or he has like I that, don't know what accent he would he have. He has the Hitler mustache. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, chili. Oh, fuck. Hey, you know that during that war for a long time, Mexico didn't want to get involved because they were homies with Germany and America. And what the fuck is Mexico going to do? Mexico, had, Mexico has one of the fiercest uh, air forces. Cartels? Air force. Um, air, Mexico is also part of the Korean arm, Korean War. Mexico has a good army. They have, they, they, if they have people just doing it for fun and cartels willing to kill people and slice people's faces off and hold it up for the picture. But is it the army think, or is it the cartel? It's the Mexican people. It's the army. The Mexican military. So it's Dude, Mexico beat, cartel. Mexico beat France and America in, in a couple wars. At what point did Mexico ever beat America? When they were trying to take up all oh, the whole America, and they stopped them at the fucking Texas border, the Alamo. You ever heard of the Alamo? Oh yeah, I don't know what that was. Yeah, you just don't know Mexican history. But anyways, Mexican. I don't. Sa- Zapata, Emilio Zapata, fucking. Yeah, Pancho fucking Villa. Emilio Zapata to you too. But <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of history, but yeah. So that's definitely gonna be a new merch item that I have to fucking. Did they make SpongeBob socks? No, China did. Thank you. You know SpongeBob's Mexican, right? the fuck you ever met anyone that woke up in the morning ready to run and be at at their fucking cook job early and work and work for free coke heads no there's you don't work for free i pay mexicans are will almost willing to what about that guy the burden guy we talked about last year i mean last yes last week that he's been working for 27 years he was happy with a candy bag for he's black he's mexican no he's not he has a mask on he looked mexican to me that dude's black 
We'll fact that check later. We'll fact check that later. But we never fact check anything. So why would we fact check? Nah, we're not Joe Rogan. We gotta fact check shit. <laughs> Fuck all that. We ain't Joe Rogan. If you're here to get your facts, you're in the wrong page, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're, just right. you're an idiot. <laughs> if you're here to get facts, you're an idiot. Yeah, so Beanerson Show merch coming soon for sure. Uh, we'll do a small run of that. It will be fun. That's gonna be hot. That's gonna be a hot one. Uh, remember, fucking, um, we're gonna hit a thousand k. I gotta stop. Remember, uh, he couldn't make a fucking uh, ham, uh, <laughs> fucking uh, ham cold. He couldn't eat his sandwich cold. Make a fucking ham uh, burger. <laughs> Ham sandwich. I just figured out what you're doing. That was you right now. His fucking ass could make a, a fucking ham. Uh, uh, could, could, could eat it cold. Uh, hang out with your fat ass no more. <laughs> His dumb ass can't even make a. He can't uh, even make a. Uh, 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 ham. Uh, uh, fucking. Uh, that was you right now. <laughs> I was thinking like three different things. You know what it is? I was like, damn, my fucking four local's hot. I need to fucking make, make, do a fucking break. I need to get some ice to drink my four local. Right <laughs> I was like, how am I gonna, how am I gonna cut this segment right <laughs> he now? He said we're gonna have a uh, uh, beans and schnitzels uh, uh, merch with the uh, fucking uh, ham. <laughs> We'll be back grab this commercial break. <laughs> All right, so before we get out of here, we gotta get into some NBA news. I know this this episode. Fuck Mondo and your stupid ass little bell bending like good <laughs> I ain't gonna bend my fucking bill like this because it can't see nothing. Head on a swivel, my guy. Yeah, Go ahead. As Just a had to get that out there. As a football coach, you shouldn't be promoting a, a fucking. Yeah, career. you need peripherals, dog. <laughs> Sorry. Before we end this episode, we gotta jump into some, some quick topics. We know this episode's gonna drop. We know this episode's going to drop. It's going to get better. <laughs> it's better drop. A couple weeks later, so this news is going to be old news, but I, I'm sure you guys love to hear, especially my sport takes and then Jeff's sport takes on, on just sports. These are so knowledgeable. <laughs> he knows so much about sports. There's this podcast. Uh, these two kids talk about football, and then both of Derek Carr's brothers, or like some, some NFL guys, were talking about quarterbacks and Tom Brady and Michael Vick. And I left the comment, like, you know me, just to fuck with people. Michael Vick is a better quarterback than Tom Brady. Because he's left-handed. Tom, Tom, Tom Brady just had a better team. Bro, the fucking comments and likes, it just, I just know how to fucking spark fucking up Fucking kill yourself, you fat fuck. <laughs> I looked at your podcast, it only has 80 views, you fucking loser, kill yourself. <laughs> so let's get into some NBA news. Uh, KD, uh, let's start with this one. KD uh, is the man, KD and Kyrie is the man in trade. So, uh, sources say Kyrie's going to end up in L.A. We'll see what happens. I doubt it. Uh, KD wants to get sent to either Phoenix or Miami, right? Which is just the news out there. But I have a source uh, that says la- yesterday. Instagram. Yesterday, um, KD was in Phoenix looking to buy a house. So with that information, what do you think is going to happen? Well, also, if KD goes to Phoenix... They're not going to trade him unless they get Devin Booker in return. So it's not going to be what everyone thinks it's going to be. There's no way KD goes to Phoenix and plays with Devin Booker. The Nets are going to be like, suck my dick. I'm not going to trade him to you unless you give me Devin Booker. And that's the main thing because that's that duo, D-Book and KD, is fucking phenomenal. But that, there's no way the Nets, and if they do, goddamn, they're retarded. They would have to take Aiton. They'd have to take the, everyone else except for Book. But, like, that's the thing with these trades. It's the same thing with, like, in Miami. It's like, I mean, maybe in Miami you could keep Jimmy Butler and still have Butler and fucking KD, but you'd have to trade Harrow and Bam. And, like, it would just be, like, it's not going to be the same unless you just trade fucking 27 picks in the next 17 years. Like, <laughs> They're going to want the, your young talent in return for KD. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one, but I think... It might- also, the Suns are retarded if they ever get rid of Book because they're, like, right on the precipice. They're, like, right there on the edge of, like... I mean, they were already in the finals. It's just, like, this year the Warriors were healthy. But, like, they were already in the finals. They had their chance. They just lost to Milwaukee. But it's also, like, like you guys are young and you're right there. But they're also saying Aiton might not come back. So we'll see. All I know is I want to play basketball now. <laughs> these contracts are fucking insane. And these football contracts need to be just in, in the same amount of insane. They just need that guaranteed money. 
Nah, you'll bankrupt the uh, you'll bankrupt the NFL with that because there's just so many injuries. But they deserve it. The guaranteed. That's money. not that's not the argument. The guaranteed. Do they deserve money it? Of course. It, it's more dangerous. Of course they deserve it. Fucking Deshaun Watson's getting all that guaranteed money and he's over here fucking getting gooch massages and shit. Is fucking Mayfield still in the Browns at this point? Te- yeah, technically, yeah. And but if, they don't know what's gonna happen to Watson. So he can get suspended and then Mayfield can still be the starting quarterback. Yeah, week one. I mean, at the moment, he's still on the Browns. Wow. And they haven't, they haven't named their starting quarterback, so you can't necessarily say he's a second-string quarterback right now. Like, like, but Mayfield's pretty good, right? Like, he's not a horrible quarterback. He's, right. he's like a better Manziel. He's I feel like all, all quarterbacks in the, in the NFL right now are really good. Like, there's not really, like, a really horrible... Well, I mean, if you're in the NFL, you're fucking really good. Like, it's just, like, the same thing. It was, like, the fucking last person on the NBA, t- on the worst NBA team could just dog anybody at any 24-hour fitness. Because, like, you're still in the NFL. You're in the NBA. Like, you're good. It's just, like, if you're Baker Mayfield, you have to go against the Mahomes and the Bradys and the Aaron Rodgers and the Josh Allens and the Jalen Hurts. And you got to go against all those dudes. Like, the Derek Carrs and the... I mean, that's whatever. But, like, <laughs> you can you have to do, like, and plus the NFL is just, like, that's... I mean, I don't fucking know, but like that's just it's probably such an insane fucking. But sticking sticking to the KG game. thing, right? Like you're saying, like they have in order for that to work, they have to get rid of so many people. Well, Rudy Gobert, Gobert, how do you say that his was name? fucking retarded. They traded 170. The Jazz are retarded. They, they traded 175 fans, the stadium, a few draft picks, and some secretaries, plus everyone on the team, and 15 years worth of draft picks just to get Rudy Gobert. I'm obviously being dramatic, but like they gave the whole team up. But even then, they have, I mean, having Cat. Nine players for one. Having Cat and Anthony Edwards. That's Rudy crazy. Rudy Gobert. It's kind of nice. That's Twin Towers. And you still got a, who, who's their point guard? Fuck, no, they got Edwards. Still got Edwards. Do they have D'Angelo Russell still? Yeah, and D. And D Russ. I mean, that's nice. That's a good team. If they can They're stay still healthy, not going to win the fucking West, but. Yeah, but, I uh, fucking whatever. But that's like to team. Easter on. Uh, what's his face to the fucking Clippers? Uh, fucking mm, Paul Wall. Not Paul Wall. Paul Wall. What the fuck is his name? Paul Wall into the Clippers. The, John Wall. Uh, <laughs> I was like, John. Was is like, he officially a Clipper? Something about a Wall. Yeah. So him and Kawhi and fucking <laughs> Paul, <laughs> Paul Wall. <laughs> hey, Paul Wall. Shout out, Paul Wall on the Clippers, dog. We out here. But fucking that's uh, not doing anything. John Wall, I mean that's nice. John Wall, it's just if they sales. all show up and they stay healthy, that's a solid little three right there. That's just ticket sales right there. Kawhi, John Wall, and Paul George, if they all are healthy and Paul, they Paul, show up, that's a solid three. And that threesome, Paul Wall, uh, Paul Wall, Paul, See, Paul bitch? George, <laughs> Paul, it's because you got there's a Paul, Paul George. George. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that God damn me. it, Paul Wall, you're he right, fucking right. took Pauls and Walls away from us. You took two words, yeah, and Paul, made him famous. Paul George is is the fucking weakest link on that one. I think I get nah. Paul. When Paul George shows up, though, Paul George shows up. But when he up. decides to show up, he's not consistent. That's what you need because this is consistency, right? Is it? They do all this just to beat. I saw this meme where it's like all this just to beat a little five eight guard, <laughs> Steph Curry. Yeah, Steph Curry is. Steph and he's light skinned with like that man changed the goddamn game. He's a black ginger you with seen the that colored shit where eyes. He's all dancing, getting hyphy and shit. Oh, well, when he started partying. It's, yeah, and then his, lady, his ladies area. in the background smoking a blunt, <laughs> lighting a blunt. Bro, up. that man literally is like such an assassin. Isn't it crazy? Like you could fucking do have the most like crazy job, but like. If you win a fucking NBA championship and you go party and smoke blunts, get drunk, tackle girls on the street like Clay Thompson. And Clay Thompson was hilarious. Drunk Clay. No one like, tells him anything. And then Tom Brady too. Remember when Tom bro, Brady was on drunk, the boat? Drunk Tom Brady on Tampa Bay <laughs> and drunk Clay on at this yacht. last thing was the <laughs> greatest vibe. thing ever. Because it's that like, bro, vibe. these are still just regular ass dudes. And it's just, they're just rich as hell. And they just happen to be famous. So it's like, it makes it even better because they just got a little blackout drunk. And just had a great time. And it's just like, if I fall and knock some bitch over, I'm getting kicked out the bar. Clay does it. And they're like, yeah! But also, you know, he and fucking won fucking a championship. By Tom Brady shit. uses a fucking Lombardi trophy. Bro, as when a- he threw the Lombardi <laughs> trophy onto another boat, it's like, it's my seventh one. I'm going to fuck about this one. Here, you guys hold this shit. Bro, Zion Williamson, $231 million rookie contract for five years. So most, Wait, he got an extension too? Look, most if, if, if you're Kobe, you play 20 years, right? Um, and then Kobe probably made like 250 out of the 20 years, right? 
this fool hasn't played a game in I don't know how many years. And then he's get, he got extended for another five years for 230. Like, he's already going to surpass Kobe's fucking number as far as making money, getting played but basketball. But legacy. But the money. But also, that's just contract money. Other than the other, all the other shit Kobe had with the shoes and the sponsors and ads and everything, and contract yeah. money just purely off the NBA contract money might not be that high, but off his shoes and his namesake and just being Kobe Bryant, like, that man was, that man was. Yeah, Kobe was, well. Kobe was came out, came he, out wasn't, he retired he wasn't and was still making body, body armor money, uh, Nike money, won an Oscar and shit. Kobe was still going to do it regardless. Kobe right? is Kobe. But also, it's just like, five years, like, that's crazy. You see what Charles Barkley said? He said something like, I should slap my mom. People were like, what the fuck? He was like, for having me born too early. Because he was like, none of these motherfuckers could hold my jock strap. Yeah. And he's like, and they're getting paid more money than I made in my entire career. But he was like, ah, oh, fuck all these dudes. And it's like, yeah, that money now is insane. Yeah, like, I was watching, I, was, I, was, I never really watched Charles, Charles Barkley highlights. But the other day, I saw some highlights, and he was doing, like, half-court passes behind his back, over his he neck. He was nice. And I was like, what the fuck, Charlie? He would just talk shit because he never won a ring. Sixers. He was nice. Sixers Barkley was fucking Sixers good Bar- as Sons fuck. Barkley was nice. That's crazy. The Rockets. But it's just like, he just never won a ring. So he just fucking, that's what everyone talks shit about. That's a fucking trip, dog. I saw this old clip, too, where Shaq was talking about opening up a restaurant. He said he had a Kobe burger. I think Jimmy Kimmel asked him if he had a Kobe burger, and he said, does it come with one more onion ring? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, what a dick. (laughs) That was a fucking great question. Damn, uh, Kobe. The the Kobe thing is always going to feel weird, man. Do you remember where you were when you found out? Yeah, it's always tragic. Do you remember where you were when you found out he he was... Yeah, I just woke up and hung over his shit and fucking got texts and then looked on Instagram, and I was like, what? And then I remember the first Laker game when we went back, because that's how 2020 started. That was January of twenty. That's how you know that year that was That was before suck. the pandemic. He's like, all right. That's how you know shut that shit, world. that whole year was shut the entire... <laughs> the world shut down Back twice. Though, for Kobe. The world shut down twice because the day he died, like, I think the Lakers canceled that game or something like that. It was a and they Sunday. rescheduled it. How's that And work? the day the Lakers... Or the day the Lakers... Uh, the day Kobe died, like, the world stopped. Because he had such influence in Italy and France and shit like that, too. Like, America stopped. China. China the stopped. The biggest continent in the world. Fucking uh, uh, Europe stopped. Like, everything stopped. And it wasn't just a basketball player. And just how tragic it was. And then you find out his daughter died, and too. And his daughter was there. And then all the other people. And you're just like, damn, you can only imagine. That shit sucks. It makes me sad talking about it. But, like, that made, like, the world stop. And then fucking... Two months later, fucking the world stops again for a whole year. 2020 is insane. The fucking history books that's going to be on there, like when fucking Jordan gets to high school or some shit, or like whenever I have kids and they get to high school, it's like those history books are going to be insane. Just the chapter of 2020. And then the fucking George Floyd protests and all that shit and everything but like, happened. Before like, you get into all that, like, you know, sometimes when we're in high school, middle school, and we're in fucking geometry class, or history class, uh, geography, not geometry. Goddamn, four locals fucking me up. Dumbass. <laughs> but like, we're, we're, in, we're reading history books, and they're teaching us about shit that happened 100 years ago that we can't fact check with our parents, our uncles, our grandparents. But bro, like in five years, when my, like you said, when Jordan, my son, is in high school, and they do like, hey, 2020, the year of the pandemic, let's study that. that that's a whole fucking, that's a whole class on that. Yeah, because And also- then that fool's going to come up to be like, hey, dad, were you... Well, I was I know I was a little kid, but like tell me about it. And we could tell him, hey man, this happened. Hey, Uncle Jeff was there too. Uncle Jeff, what do you think? Like, hey, you know what? Like, we could really tell the fucking youth, like, damn, we lived through one of the craziest fucking times and in the world. Tell planet. my kids they'd be like, Dad, what did you do during the pandemic? Well, son, I woke up at three in the afternoon and I got drunk as hell. And I got <laughs> fat as fuck. And I took Molly and I went on walks at four in the morning. Because who cares? Because I got so much extra money, and that was the first time I lived by myself. And we, I played Madden for nine hours. <laughs> I did my part, son. I did what I had to Are do. Are you a PlayStation or Xbox guy? PlayStation, all day. You have a PS4 or PS5? I have a 4, because the 5s are fucking blood diamonds. You can't fucking find them. Yeah, I keep getting emails. It makes no fucking sense. I keep getting emails from PlayStation that they're about to start dropping shit, but... It kind of makes me, like, kind of happy, though, that I don't have a 5. 
Because it's just like, I would just spend, waste so much, not waste yeah, time, yeah, but yeah, also yeah. waste time. Because yeah. I would just be on that pitch for hours. This is the first week I get off work for in, in a few months. And then the whole week, I was like, you know, doing shit, whatever, me and you working together and shit like that. But then I'm like, one day for 24 hours, like all I did was play my PS3, which is have this one game called Civilization that I play. Only game in the world I play. And that's the only reason I have the PS3, because it's only the good version is only on PS3. So I'm like, if I get a PS5, dude, and I get back into Madden, I get back into 2K, MLB the show. Madden is the most toxic relationship. If I get back life, into probably. it, bro, I'm going to waste so much time, dog. So part of me I doesn't even want to so buy much. it. Yeah, that's why it's kind of like, I'm kind of glad that I don't have a PS5, but also, where the fuck are the PS5s? I don't want a PS5. But also, like, yeah, Madden's the most toxic relationship in my life. Because I hate it. I hate it. It's so stupid. It cheats. It cheats on me all the time. It's <laughs> bullshit. I fucking hate it. It's the same thing over and over again. But at every time, who's on the cover? Who's on the cover? Oh, it's Barry Sanders getting my seventy dollars. Who's coming this year? I don't fucking know. No, they said who was wasn't it? the what was the last one? Mahomes and Brady. Damn, they said. They, oh, I think John Madden's gonna be this year. Oh, which makes sense. R.I.P. to the fucking goat. Yeah, R.I.P. to the greatest coach of all time, which was a Raiders head nah, coach. Nah, I didn't say that. But just he's just a goat in his own in his own perspective. Greatest, well, greatest, greatest broadcaster, coach greatest coach of all time. Definitely greatest, the greatest football broadcaster of all time, or at least the most. The most like influential. You can't even admit that one of the greatest people in football time was a Raider. Can you just say that? No. Yeah, that's just, that lets you know how much of a hater this guy is. Guys, we gotta let I Jeff let go. He lets you know that he lives in the eighties, even though he wasn't alive in there. We gotta let Jeff Raiders. go. He's talking crazy. We're gonna send him to work drunk as fuck. So if you're at Ballast Point on a Sunday today, what day is it? Today's August nineteenth. Today's August forty seventh, twenty twenty five. If you're there today and see Jeff all faded it's because he drank three, four locals. I'm drunk, and this dumbass is fucking talking about <laughs> August fifteenth. What the fuck is he saying? I don't want to let them know exactly the day you were there and you caused a fucking accident on the way to work today. But we gotta go because Jeff uh, has to go to work. Um, we have low key started like recording more than one episode a week, so that you'll see this uh, extra episode somewhere down the line. But we're planning on putting this on Fuck page, it. Patreon early. <laughs> this guy always wants to. But <laughs> it was just the idea because my shit was like three dollars, five dollars, ten dollars. No, my my shit was three dollars, ten dollars, twenty. Nah, Jeff's just like, you know dollar. what? That's too much. Let's just do a dollar. I'm like, Jeff, you're fucking ridiculous. We're not giving shit away for a dollar. You know how you much gotta time? Gotta give it away for a dollar. You know how much time it takes me? Eight hours, ten hours to edit a, a video. Then I gotta send it to this guy and fucking pay him. Like, it, it costs too much. He goes, no, just do it for a dollar. So fuck it. We're gonna do what Jeff wants because he's just as an equal important part of this podcast as I am. So because of Jeff, one dollar. you're going to be able to subscribe and lock yourself in for life um, dollar for one dollar. Um, dollar. So if you see this clip, uh, hit the link tree in the fucking bio and then go sign up for one dollar because I'm only going to let this shit happen for like 30 or 40 days and we're, we're going back to the three, five and ten dollar shit because we're going to lose a lot of money. So for now, everyone, get grandfathered in for one dollar. Yeah, so the rest... Of your Patreon subscription life. And because $1. Je- and because Jeff decided to come uh I come all the time. A couple extra days this week. We're now gonna come be, a couple extra now days we're gonna be able time. to start dropping clips a week early and the people who are paying a dollar on Patreon can now see every fucking episode a week early. Um, and we're gonna have more content in the Patreon in years to come, in time to come. Yeah. So if you pay it now for a dollar, the same shit you getting for a dollar, people are gonna be getting for ten dollars. Oh so, more or more. Think you about know. math. Math is math and you wanna do it. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Uh, like always, subscribe, like, TikTok, Snapchat. We're on Facebook now. Uh, we're going to start killing Patreon. Uh, you know what to do. You, I, we say this every episode. If you make it this, this far in the episode, you know what to do. Uh, we got a request today by some, one of our uh, number one fans that they want to start showing up and being an, we need, they want to be an audience member. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm, a lady, I'm, I'm ready to let you guys in my house yet <laughs> to watch this record shit. No, it's not his house. This is a big studio. <laughs> this is a huge we're, We're in Burbank. In Burbank. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Alexis, Mr. Blue Check, for coming on the last yeah. episode. Uh, but Jeff, before we go, anything you want to say to the people? Hey, I'm over here, Stacey McBreezy, and that's it. That's it. Go to the fucking Wendy's, yo. You know what I mean? Thank you for watching, and we out. <laughs>